Hi, there are a lot of scam projects now, but the Asylum is not one of them. I recently discovered it and immediately began to follow it closely. And I think it has some very good prospects. And after this review, you will surely agree with me. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of decentralized application development with the internet computer platform ICP. I'm thrilled to share with you an overview of the tools and environments available for building and deploying canisters on the ICP. Imagine you're a developer eager to explore the potential of decentralized applications. You've heard about the internet computer platform and its revolutionary approach to hosting software. But where you start. That's where our video comes in handy. Picture yourself sitting down at your development workstation, ready to embark on your journey into the world of decentralized computing. You fire up your terminal and reach for your trusty COI2 DFX. This powerful tool is your gateway to creating, deploying, and managing canisters on the internet computer platform. But DFX isn't the only tool in your arsenal. You're also equipped with the Canister Development Kit or CDK, a comprehensive environment for writing canister code in various programming languages. From the native Motor to the popular Rust and even Python and TypeScript or JavaScript, the CDK supports a range of languages to suit your preferences and project requirements. As you install DFX and explore the installation guides for specific CDKs, you're introduced to key concepts like canisters, query and update methods, certified data and resource consumption. Armed with this knowledge, you're ready to dive deeper into the development environment provided by the internet computer ecosystem. How do canisters work? Canisters behave much like actors from the actor-based concurrency model. Their code is single-threaded and is executed in complete isolation of other canisters. Canisters communicate with one another via asynchronous messaging. When processing a message, a canister can make changes to its state, send messages to other canisters, or even create other canisters. Unlike in the traditional actor model, communication is bidirectional. Canisters messages either requests or replies. For each request sent, the IC records a callback to be invoked when the callee sends back a response. If the IC determines that there is is no way for the callee to respond, then the IC will produce a response. Another novel aspect of the canister-based model is the interplay between message processing and canister trapping. While processing a request, a canister may send requests to other canisters and wait for some of the replies before producing a reply to the original request. If a canister traps, its state is rolled back to the point right after it's made the last outgoing call. As you install DFX and explore the installation guides for specific CDKs, you're introduced to key concepts like canisters, query and update methods, certified data and resource consumption. And with this knowledge, you're ready to dive deeper into the development environment provided by the internet computer ecosystem. With support for actor-based programming, asynchronous messaging and automatic serialization, the internet computer platform offers a simplified yet powerful environment for building decentralized applications. And let's not forget about identity and authentication. Canisters have registered identities and users authenticate themselves using digital signing keys ensuring secure interactions within the platform. So, there you have it folks, a glimpse into the exciting world of decentralized application development with the internet computer platform. Stay tuned for more tutorials, tips and insights on our channel as we continue exploration of blockchain technology and its endless possibilities. And now for the cool news. Well, first of all, I'm very happy to announce that the ICP developer contest is still available for participation. All you have to do is fill out the Google form, which I will leave in the description. Moreover, you have a chance to start your career in the ICP Definity blockchain with the help of regional hubs. Last but not least, ICP launches an acceleration program. Let's take a brief look at the registration process. Here you need to fill in all necessary information and specify LinkedIn. In my opinion, everything is quite simple. To sum it up, ICP provides developers with a powerful and innovative platform for creating decentralized applications, which is supported by large-scale infrastructure, diverse language capabilities, tokenomics, bands, decentralized management, management and advanced authentication mechanisms. But of course, you better come in and make sure of it yourself. Join ICP on Twitter and Telegram so that you don't miss any important news and generally any useful information about the project. But despite my opinion on its development, Asylum can gain value a little faster. So if you want to make profits, I suggest you join in right now. Thank you for your likes and your comments and bye everyone.